Hello there. Good evening, everybody. Hi, 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 everyone. Can you hear me? Please tell me if the sound is okay. You can hear me. I've got the sound right quite high. So tell me if you can hear me, everybody. Good evening. Hello. So I see uh, Barry is in the house. Netsai. Good evening, everyone. Thank you so much for being here. I'm quite excited for this one. So let's do this. <laughs> How is everyone doing this evening? Oh, good. Fabulous. Oh, good here too. So I'm excited to see you guys here. So let's do this. We've got a mystery guest. I don't know. Can you guess who's coming on? <laughs> it's someone you, you know this person. So yes. So how is everyone doing today? I'm just going to give it uh, about five minutes uh, to wait for a few people to get on. So hopefully a few people come on um yeah so barry how are you today what fragrance are you wearing today our mystery guest is in the house we we are just uh going to give give it a few minutes and she will be joining us very soon so i'm curious what's everyone wearing tonight these are my scents of the day i'm wearing two fragrances Fire by Tessa Williams from Elements. And as well, I've got Love. That's my other fragrance of the day. So I've mixed these ones. <laughs> so you can imagine, I'm smelling rather fabulous if I try uh, to say that. Um, I'm trying a new vanilla from Rosa Salas. All right. You know what, Barry? I've not... Um, won anything from them so i'm looking forward to try something one of these days it's just at the moment i as i said before um i've got quite a lot of fragrances i'm sampling i need to wear so i'm trying to get through that before i can start adding more new things but with that said <laughs> i've had some new things so hi claire is in the house Smith Gelly. Hi, Claire. It's lovely to see you. I see John is in the house and I see Proctavia World. Good evening. Nothing in bed or the. Of course, you can wear a fragrance even if sitting in bed. Why not? Come on. <laughs> and you know, I'm finding a really good fragrance for wearing to bed. I've found a fragrance which is just so coming. I've been wearing a Miguel Matos fragrance to bed. I spoke about this not too long ago. So I've been wearing quite a few fragrances to bed. I like to wear love as well. I love how these fragrances make me feel. They are not overpowering. They're just perfect. So loving to wear love from Tessa Williams. So she's got two fragrances on the website called love. One is a Eau de Parfum. One is a Cologne. So do check them out. Um, da Vinci's Alchemist. Good evening. <laughs> Buzz a dazzling vanilla. It's nice. Oh, oh my gosh. And you guys, you know how much I love vanillas. So that's something I should look forward to. Before I bring on our guest, she's here already. I want you guys to just give me a few guesses. Can you guess? And the person who's going to guess right, I've got a special prize for you. That is if someone gets it right. So two minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Two minutes. Who's coming on? Can you guys guess? I'm at work. Need to order Faith. We'll do it after. Ah, yes, Barry. Oh, Faith is really lovely. Um, Faith. I've done a review of this. Claire, Tessa, Sarah. <laughs> Sarah Becker. Ah, oh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> Good evening, I see. <laughs> right, Lucy. <laughs> I'll, I'll let you in on the secret. It's one of those people. And funny enough, all the people mentioned, uh, no, I won't say anything. Anyway, yes, it's one of those ladies. It is a lady. You guys guessed quite, uh, <laughs> can I guess? Go for it, uh, Proctavia World. <laughs> so I see few guesses for there's a uh, few guesses for Sir Miguel. 
<laughs> oh, John, you're funny, Miguel. <laughs> Do you know what? Right. Without further ado, so I will go back to the comments and to see who's guest. <laughs> Let's do this. <laughs> Good guesses, you guys. I'll go back seeing as it's more than one person that's got it right. I will be messaging you after this. So without further ado, I'm so excited to bring on this guest. And this is someone you are very, you are familiar with. So without further ado, here goes. Hi. <laughs> Good evening. How are, that you? <laughs> How are you? Good, yeah. Lovely to see you. Thank you for allowing me to be the mystery today. <laughs> and I, I, uh, yeah. Finally, the rain has stopped here. How about with you? It's not stopped. It's oh, not no. stopped. I've had to shut the windows just so that we don't hear the raindrops. It's not stopped. It's been raining. It's actually rained what since since Thursday night. We've had rain since Thursday. That clue was the perfume. You yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's freezing up there. I know it's getting you cold. Look amazing. You look wonderful. I love oh. your uh, necklace. You look wonderful. Really good. Oh, thank, thank you so much, Tessa. Thank you. You do look wonderful yourself. Lovely yeah. to see you again. And um, yes. for every, I doubt anyone watching is not familiar with who Tessa is. And I see Johnny is saying, you must be freezing up there. <laughs> I know, yes. <laughs> I think everyone is familiar with Tessa. So anyway, in case someone is here that was never here before when you were, please introduce yourself one more time. Well, thank you, Mia. I have um, it's been wonderful to get to know you over the past um, few months now. And um, I have... Um, kind of come into the perfume through writing the book uh cult perfumes which came out a few years ago and then i created the home fragrance range the elements and then also created a perfume range thanks so much that's the book there cult perfume. The she's talking about yeah that was my first book um second book yeah so it it's a story of perfume kind of boutique perfume houses niche perfume houses uh historical perfume houses and um yeah it's been uh it was kind of a um real a love letter to perfumery world wow. and um yeah so that kind of really got me into um researching more on perfume and then after that I was so kind of taken with it that I decided I would like to create my own scents and yeah I mean I'm like you can't live without perfume and I I do love perfume so much um and especially at this time now where we can't travel I think it's yes. really important to perfume because not only it will kind of evoke the time when you were away or maybe it will help you imagine the time when you can go away again because it is it's it's a difficult time you can't you can't really go and meet with people uh, you never know how safe you're going to be so problem is great great thing not you know much, but yeah you know, Tessa, you say that. Uh, as you were talking, I was just thinking about the fragrance which I spoke about, and this is water. And I did say, because this uh, is actually special, because this is the last um, the, the last holiday I went to, and this okay. is the place that this fragrance reminds me of. So like you, wearing fragrances now, it's about as well reminiscing about the past, where we've been, the good times we had. And this literally did take me back yeah, to where yeah. I was like on the waterfall and it's just gorgeous. And I've just seen Barry um, mentioning that today is a great day to wear a fragrance like fire. I don't know, Barry, I think you were here when I was saying, because 
of wearing these two today. Oh, lovely. That yes, is so I led them. I started yeah. off with this one and mm. then I put that on top. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so these are my scents of the day. Very nice. It's wonderful to be able to mix them and I think they go quite well together because fire is so kind of strong, masculine and quite yes. dominant. Yes. Whereas love, yeah, it's very, very fresh and um, yeah. But it's true, today is a good day for fire or to have the fire on and yeah, it's nice it to have is, that. isn't it? Hi, Tony. Yeah. I see Tony's in the house. Good evening. I've seen John saying, are you going to bring out a snow one? <laughs> How is snow no. going to smell like? That is so interesting, Tessa. I know. Yeah, that's a great idea. Well, I do love the smell of snowdrops for sure. You know, that's a really beautiful spring-like scent. Snow. Yeah, I, I, I love the kind of the depth of the sound of snow, the way it's, it gives you that level of protection when there's snow all around you. So the scent of it is a very good idea. So... <laughs> I need to check that out. Yeah. Sweet and mm. yeah, yeah, so that's something that's something to think about actually. Two ladies are on the yeah. TV. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Snow, ice. Um, I mean, I think now we are we are really looking for fragrances that kind of, as you say, they remind us of the holidays or remind us of the good times i mean soon enough it's going to be christmas time and absolutely yeah so scents of christmas are i don't know i always love to wear kalesh on christmas don't it do you like that perfume mia by hermes, hermes. it's very warm and um no, I know, I know the fragrance. Mm -hmm. I think I have a sample, but I don't have that one at the moment. The image which I've been enjoying is this little beauty, and it packs a punch. I like to wear really? this because yeah, I find it warming and fresh it. at the yeah. same time. So I've been wearing yeah. this, and I realize I wear this fragrance throughout the year because I think. The ginger and the lavender, they work for, yes. in England, you know how the temperatures are. It's not like extremely hot, extremely yes. hot. And this does work throughout the year. I, I enjoy this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. yes. So yes. I'm wearing this one. Yeah. yeah I should Very check nice. it out. So. But I think it's nice to wear something really memorable on Christmas Day or special days because then and then don't wear it for a while and because then you can look back on that scent and go oh that was that was christmas that that's that scent i i've often done that so yeah i like i'm to looking that. at the comment tessa and i think i know what john is doing john definitely <laughs> wants a scented snowdrop <laughs> yeah, I very think good wants a scented snowdrop and he says he's only going to charge 97 percent commission for that <laughs> well, uh, yeah yeah i would love to do a beach fragrance and i do have i do have something in mind for this because there is something about that ho real holiday scent where you know the kind of abandon of forgetting everything else in your life or you know the kind of the stresses of work and everything and then just going sit on a beach for a few hours and just feeling really relaxed, hot, and um, yeah, sunbathing, that kind of, uh, mo those moments in the sunshine. So yeah, wow. I do love that. And, and Tessa, I see, cause you live quite near the beach. So I see you sometimes, yeah. sometimes on the beach. So definitely we expect a beach center. That would be really nice. I yeah, imagine something you. maybe with yuzu, something ambergris, something. I'm sure you you can work something oh, out for us. Yeah, yeah, very good. There's something about the beach and just be, seeing lots of water in general that I find so calming. 
you know what even even if it's not the most sunny day uh just to go to the beach and look at the sea just see the waves coming in uh, that's my total meditation i really love it so that's um i think it's a really good idea i'd like to do something with water so oh, yeah so oh, we look forward to that. on the beach that's the only place it doesn't snow <laughs> I love it. Uh, actually, I have seen it once snowing at the beach there. So, mm. oh, yeah. very nice. I think I think a snowy fragrance, Tessa, that would definitely work. And a beach fragrance, I can see both working because I mean, we've managed to have. Yeah. We've got the element now. We've got fire. We've got water. We've got yeah. air as well. So, Tessa, this is the latest release from your house, isn't yeah. it? I know you yeah. had it before, but this is newly added. Can you talk yeah. about, can you just talk a little bit about it and about the painting? Because I believe you did paint this yourself, didn't you? Yeah, yeah, thank you. I did this paint because I like to do painting as well. I mean, I'm no especially talented artist, but I just love to paint. And I did this paint a painting of the clouds many yeah. years ago, and it was from a photo of, you know, we're traveling on an airplane and then you see above the clouds. So that was kind of what I was trying to capture in this painting. And yeah. then I came back to look at it and I just thought, well, that is what, that's what I'm trying to convey with air. So yeah. maybe I can use this painting as um, part of the design for the label. So I was very fortunate. Uh, Katie, the lady that helps with my website and the design and everything on the labels, she, yeah. su she suggested the first one of putting the painting of the flower on love and then adding the clouds uh -huh. to air. But I hope it gives the feeling of being above the clouds. It so does. Kind of, yeah. Does. Very. Uh, so very she had suggested to have that one on instead yes uh, sure. it both works like this uh tess i just said before that uh this love is or the cologne and this is or the perfum am i right in saying that yes that that's right yes so exactly. someone might be i'm trying to find my camera just <laughs> someone mm. might be wondering why we have two but then when you look you realize they've got different yes prints, so that's, yeah that's how exactly. to kind of remember god yeah the camera yeah yeah that one all right very nice yes. very nice um, yeah but i would love to do another more floral perfume as well so i've been trying to uh find something that's really got a um rose you know so there is a something about the old-fashioned roses that they don't they've they've had the scent taken out of so many uh new new roses but i so i'm working on this i think it might take quite a long time but yeah ah. we'll see I think that. I think would be nice definitely to have a rose in the collection. And as well, Tessa, I know some of these fragrances are quite they lean more masculine because all of these are meant to be unisex, but obviously some of these are quite masculine. And to my nose, uh, for example, faith, fire, and earth, they come off quite masculine to me. So yeah. I think um these ones and this one as well they are kind of the more masculine so i'm curious yeah. in your next creations obviously you are thinking about the rose are we going to see anything kind of like a beast mode fragrance <laughs> yeah well interesting that john should say of violet because i do absolutely love violet so much yeah. And I was just early, I was going to buy this cake, a mix of Parma violets, because you know those little sweets, Parma violets? Yeah. I love yeah. the scent. I love the scent of violet. So yeah. that would be, that could be a really good mix. Um, I'll, I'll be taking notes later on afterwards. So, <laughs> yeah. A, a lot to look forward to. And as yeah. well, for the people watching, um, Tessa does candles as well, so really lovely candles. If you are into candles, I honestly um, 
I would say do try them, have a go, and they come like so. I've just taken this leave off. So that's yeah, you need to light it, try it soon. <laughs> Honestly, it's so divine. But like mm -hmm. I said, I feel like because I've got some candles I've been burning, I don't want to burn these ones just yet because I feel like I need to finish something, get it out of the way, then I can take something out. Uh, that way it's okay. not cluttered, it's not messy. So yeah. <laughs> well, when do you do so, sorry, sorry, carry on. No, 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 carry on. Okay. Um, I was just gonna say that when you do light that candle, Mia, to make sure that you cut the wick really short. Yeah. And then so that it burns. It burn. It will burn a lot longer, a lot stronger. Because sometimes people let the candle have a really long wick, and it just burn oh. and burn away too quickly. Uh, so oh. do I this. think I've done that before myself. <laughs> but yeah, get to keep it really short, and then maybe just wipe the inside with like a, a damp cloth or baby wipe or something like that, and keep it good and then that candle can last you know maybe a month or something that's what wow. i find it's very wow. nice and, and even if they're unlit with those candles yes they still still inside the room yes yeah you can walk by or you can leave it in a cupboard or something like that and they're, they're very very got a very nice strong scent you know in the yeah. same way like diptyque or joe malone or something that they have that kind of strength of scent through. Wow, but, amazing. Yeah. And mm -hmm. you know, Tessa, the other thing is in my house, um, even kids are quite addicted to having to spray their home spray. So Richard, oh. everyone wants every every room in the house to smell of hair. So they're oh. always spraying away, which is, it's quite nice. It's so lovely as well, even refreshing, even just for going to bed, just to spray yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Well, it's an escape, isn't it? And it's it's a kind of a relaxing thing, like walking into a shower or swimming pool or hot, really absolutely. hot room or not so much cold room, but walking into a fragrance. Yeah, yeah, yeah I love palm oil so much. Aww. So yeah, berries combined. Mm. Never heard of that. We always learn something new every day, don't we? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, yes. Uh, Sal, uh, so I've seen a few people come on. Hi, Elaine. Hi, Sal. Um, yes, so she's just saying that she, she, she knew that but kept forgetting to do it. Isn't it the way sometimes you know something and when you have to do something, you always forget. You sit down and then you're like, I was supposed to do that before <laughs> I did that. So. Yeah, are you walking to the room? Why did I come in here? That's why I forgot. Yes, absolutely. This but, is uh, carry on, Tessa. I've just seen what Elaine says that with the lockdown, um, our fragrance collection is really keeping us. And you know what? We were sure. going to talk about this, weren't we? Um, mm. I think Elaine, you go, Tessa. <laughs> well, I would, I would absolutely agree with that. Um, I mean, it's a good thing really that I do have the fragrance range that I've created myself because otherwise I just, I go through perfume so much, you know? So it's good to keep trying perfume and then keep thinking about making more scents and when you have the idea, because that is the one thing, this this time of lockdown is really, really hard. Um, yeah and this time in these hard times we really need a dose of hope and faith and of course love yes well thank you i'm glad i'm glad you yeah. you recognize them and and appreciate them because it really is the time it's a time for hope and it's a time for faith and you know a lot of our our friends and our relatives are really suffering in this lockdown you know i think particularly Absolutely. for the older people you know elderly people living on their own you know can you it's an absolute nightmare and it's not it's not getting any easier so i think a little thing like a perfume can really have a big 
effect on on your well-being because it's all about kind of self-care and keeping going you know to do Absolutely. that i yeah. couldn't agree more and you know what tessa like like you and like everyone else like you elaine i think a lot of us it's it's been so important because not only are we wearing fragrances now to smell good or to remind us of the past to remind but us. Yes. Are still in the present where we are how are we feeling and i've i've, I've mm -hmm. noticed to myself i'm tending to kind of choose fragrances that are more that have kind of have a deeper connection to myself that are not just yes. about feeling good but it's about how it's making me feel yes so I'm, finding I'm wearing fragrances now not because i want to smell amazing because now i don't really even wear fragrance because i want to smell amazing if i go out but it's how it's mm -hmm. making me feel how is the fragrance making totally. me feel? and i'm enjoying yeah. it. and i feel like this time is really given us a great chance to sample fragrances for example fragrances which before i never really had time to wear because going out yeah. to wear going out you had to wear a certain fragrance but now i've had the chance to sample a whole range of things because i'm in my yeah. own comfortable space where i'm not worried about how are you gonna feel about me wearing this fragrance because i'm in my own house most of the time i've For stopped sure. yeah. socializing yes i know yeah. <laughs> you can't get closer than two meters so yeah absolutely Frank Dicted says he's got a question, a really important question. Tony, I'm curious. Please fire away the important. I love questions. Tony's videos. I managed to catch up on some of them, and they are so great. I love the one in the autumn with all the leaves. It's yeah, so man. nice. I think Ton and John, where they live, they are so blessed. They've got a beautiful countryside where they can just go about. Yeah. And and <laughs> John, I think you need to check out John's as well. He's I always out in the country, and I'm just so jealous all the time. And yeah. especially with this weather now, he's been taking incredible shots. I saw a picture he took ah. of the YSL out in the woods, and it was just so magical. You, oh, you guys are so blessed to be kind of near yeah. in the country where you can just, I mean, I'm not far from the country. I'm so minutes away, but mm. I'm always very cautious because a lot of the run, the lands as well, they are more private properties. So like you, can uh, walk, yeah. you can't walk in the next field because it's private property. Mm. So yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, um, what is the question? I'm, I'm curious now. Me too and uh uh barry is also asking how many sprays do you normally use i don't know maybe before i'm going out maybe about eight or nine a lot <laughs> wow you definitely yeah. are rich. i yeah. always remember my mom used to before she went out and she wore reeve gauche was one of her perfumes by ysl she always wore this one but she would like spray so much perfume and then walk into it and it oh, seemed yes. like it seemed like a crazy waste of perfume but actually if you do that it gives you this amazing covering because it's not just like you're around here or your wrist or you know decolletage it's like you're walking into a wall of perfume so yeah i'm here i'm smiling because do you know that i do that i know really? yes i spray i spray i spray i spray and then i always spray one which has to go kind of i walk through it so that it goes so it. Wow. And I spray one as well I, so my one, mom. I spray one yeah. as well like on both my legs behind my legs so i believe that yes. it's gonna yes. rise up and yes. <laughs> <laughs> Right. <laughs> that. that was Tony's important question. Does pineapple belong on a pizza? Well, I'd say my daughter Ocean, she loves that on a pizza. But for yeah. me, I think pineapple is better in a drink, like in a cocktail. Or I remember I had a really nice pineapple drink in Lake Como last summer. Oh. Wow. And pineapple and kind of aniseed drink. It's a kind of Italian drink. 
Um, wow. but I love a pina colada if that helps, Tony. Pina colada, <laughs> exactly. Like the song, pina colada. Yes. Mm -hmm. I like I like mm -hmm. that. Every time I'm on holiday, I could try all. The, uh, when I'm on holiday, my favorite uh, kind of cocktails are always a pina colada and a Greek sunset. <laughs> Greek sunset. Wow, that sounds yeah. good. Yeah. Oh well. Yeah. Need to meet up when we're on. We're both on holiday then. <laughs> I hope so that it's gonna happen uh, next year. I really, yeah. really hope so. So yeah. pineapple mm -hmm. and cheese go well. It does actually. Yeah. I thought we could mm. be friends. I like your daughter more. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. Um, very good. Um, I'm very curious, uh, Tessa, what is coming up next for Tessa Williams for Elements Fragrances? Is anything in the works? Well, I do, as I said, I do have a couple of ideas that I'm working on and yeah, I kind of need to keep them a bit quiet until I'm kind of further down the line with them, but you will love it I, because it's something, it's something that people need now because it's kind of, it's part of that whole escapism thing. Ah. So it's something that people do to get away from this general feeling but you can't yeah. really do it that much now. So I don't want to give too much away of it. But this that, is one fragrance that I've, and I've had it in my mind for quite a long time. So I really want to, to get this one um, on the go. And yeah, just- I look um, to, to that. Um, Tessa, I'm very curious. The last time we spoke, yeah. we were still very much in lockdown. Since then, yeah. things kind of eased off, but then we've mm -hmm. kind of gone back to the point where, again, things are kind of closing up and we are having yeah. more restrictions. So how has that affected business? Well, I think it kind of comes and goes a bit because during the kind of at the height of the lockdown, I'd say things was going quite well because people maybe didn't have, they weren't able to go out to to find shops you know so they were looking at more things online and i'd say it maybe kind of fluctuates a bit between because people i did have a lot of interest in yeah as i say in like july and august then september has been has been not bad as well but i'd say at this time, you really, you can't tell what's, yeah. what's, what is driving it, what's kind of encouraging people to, but I would say it's now is the time to try perfume or candles or things that make you feel, yeah, make you feel uplifted because you just, you don't know when this is going to end and you don't, so you want to enjoy every moment or, you know, treat your friends and, uh, yeah, so I hope I hope it will get better. <laughs> I hope so too. I'm curious, are people buying more sample sets or blind buying? How are you finding? Are people more interested in sample sets or buying full bottles, just blind buying? Yeah, I'd say a lot of people, uh, the most popular one of all the, the perfumes so far has been Hope. And that's obviously blind buying because I think people just like the idea of it, you know. Mm. So, um, yeah, it's the uh, and faith as well has been popular too. Yeah, uh, I I mean there has been quite a few. Uh, the the samples have only very recently been available. I mean, yes. literally in the past couple of months yeah you know? okay. because i just i have so many different things i've been needing to do but yes yeah, so i finally got that uh and i wish i'd been able to have that before because it's such a kind of obvious thing because if you can't smell a perfume you can't smell it on the internet so you need to be able to try it Absolutely. And, uh, so really I'm, yeah i'm really glad now this opportunity Oh, thank you. I'm glad that you love Faith. 
Um, I love that as well. Oh, yeah, but it's you. thanks to people like you, Mia, that mm. you know you ha you have been such an amazing uh, support and help to me. I'm so grateful to you. But oh, the thank you so much. My absolute pleasure. Yeah, um, you're amazing. But it's because you. you describe things with such a passion and authenticity that oh, I think you. people realize, you know, because oh, wow. otherwise, yeah, it's quite hard to describe a scent. But you know, so many, um, so many perfumes. If you just describe it in such a way, then or you can relate it. Then you think, well, I love this perfume. It's like I love Fraca, Robert Piguet, and yes. that with love. It's not like Fraca no, that much, no. but there's a lot. Yeah, there is a lot of tuberose in in love, and Fraca is all tuberose. It's something about tuberose that is just a uh, incredible scent. Um, no. So, yeah, so. Um I've just seen a few people come in and I'm going to say hello, Tessa. I hope that thought for a moment. Um, yes. Hi, Amanda. Hi, Valivon. And, you know, it's uh, it's quite nice you said that because I see Amanda is here and I have a few things I'm going to be talking about in my next uh, video. And this will be about Amanda's fragrances. So oh, great. Hi, well, Amanda. I'll let you go. I don't want to take up too much of your time. No, oh, no, no, no. It's not today. It's not today. It's okay. in the week. Okay. But as you were talking about uh, people describing fragrances, it um, made me realize I was thinking to myself, a point I was thinking to myself about um, fragrance reviewing. And this, um, I yeah, thought. Yeah, it's quite an art form. Um, Yes, how to review a fragrance for myself, I've realized that people will give reviews based on their life experiences. For example, someone yes, reviewing a fragrance is going to be limited to, say, the place where they live, the things that they are familiar with, the smells they are familiar with, the, the life they've experienced, because you will find that someone smelling, for example, vetiver or smelling maybe patchouli, or smelling yeah. a vanilla or lavender, a person that lives in the countryside, for example, and has grown up in the countryside where they have all the time in the world to go in the lavender fields. And yeah. the emotions that they get from doing that, be it in their childhood or adulthood. And for example, a person living in the city, you live in the middle of London, for you to smell lavender as you richly, if you want to smell fresh raw lavender you have to go out in the fields maybe you never get the chance and all oh, you smell are uh, synthetic uh lavenders for example yes that true experience how you are going to experience something is going to be totally different to the next person who actually mm -hmm. smells the raw lavender and i was thinking mm -hmm. to myself and this i could relate with so many things for example maybe a green fragrance if you never grew up going in the meadows you know, which I did yeah. in my childhood, it would be so different for someone mm -hmm. who's never lived in the country to experience that kind of lifestyle. So, yeah. and as well, it's again limited to maybe tests. For example, maybe you grew up having someone, for example, maybe baking. And even the uh -huh. kind of baking, someone that's mm -hmm. in the town center in the country will be different. It's the kind of different bakes that I'm going to bake than if I go, for example, to my grandma's house. Yes. So in, in describing fragrances, all these things does play a part to how a fragrance is going to come across to you. And I realized, and even the language, for yeah. example, other people may have grown up speaking this language. You know these words in your local language, which you can't uh, put across. Describe. Yeah, in for example, in another language. So I was yeah. thinking to myself, all these things play a part, and this is I thought to myself, why maybe a fragrance may be this to this person and that to the next person. So yeah. I, I just thought about that. Anyway, I'm rambling. Let's well, carry on. No, not at all. That's very true. <laughs> 
But what I do love so much, Mia, that I have noticed you have just done recently is your poetry. Uh, oh, great oh, poetry. thank you. No, this is amazing. I mean, you should actually perform this. I was in the theater, well, hopefully when the theaters um, come oh, back, yes, then you should. It's so beautiful <laughs> and so different and original. I really love it. Yeah. Oh, thank you so much. Mm. Thank you so much. Exactly, yes. Uh, yeah, but I agree with what you're saying is this to do with your experience, but I, I, I believe also a lot with the way you smell and process perfume is to do with your, with your memories. Absolutely, 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 because this is exactly what I said. And sometimes I find myself when I'm uh, doing reviews and I will shoot a review and I speak so much, maybe things that are related to my memories and most of the times I even have to edit these things out because I think maybe even me trying to explain to someone else, they may not even understand or relate to it. It feels like I'm rambling. So I'm like, okay, okay. Yeah, <laughs> okay we'll, we'll yeah. edit this out. But yeah, I've, I've always felt that because for example, if you went, um, this is just like an example to a Russian village and you right. had your your grandmother, your babushka mm -hmm. baking something. Yeah. And then you went, for example, to your, to a Scottish village and you had someone baking something. It would be totally different. So yeah. everything, the person in that place and that place, their relation to smells might be different because it's so, and like John said, even the Scottish lavender will not, it will smell completely different to the yeah. young lavender. I mean, it's the same thing when you talk about uh, the like vetiver the from yeah. or, yeah. yes, so, yeah. Yeah, but uh -huh. I did, very true this, but also, as you say, and the space around you, you know, to, to have the space. Uh, and the space can change where you are and how you enjoy the perfume and um, you know and then also so it's the memories and also the effect I reckon that it has on other people is is a huge impact of the perfume absolutely you know? definitely it's exactly, exactly. Mm. For example, if you wore a fragrance which maybe you love and then everyone you meet is like, oh, that's a bit, you would be put off and maybe you loved something and maybe if not so many people were drawn to it, maybe you wouldn't be as keen to wear it out yeah. and your feelings yeah. about it might change and vice yeah. versa. Yeah, so, yeah. Uh, but one thing, I mean, it's a shame we can't hug each other just now, which is such a shame. But one thing is when you you know you smell really good you feel very uh you know you feel very kind of liberated to wrap your arms around somebody and hug them because you know that they're going to get i'm this smelling scent. good I want like to you love and then, you. <laughs> so it's expression of the love so Absolutely. that's really what i was trying to convey with the the faith hope and love love hope and faith so yes yeah and faith yeah i love those frequencies um i'm curious Tessa, what is your best seller out of uh, all frequencies from your house actually i think maybe it's fire it's fire. been consistent Ooh. yeah i can see why i think i remember um was it uh scott scott or barry oh, made scott did, did such um, an amazing video really yeah, love it and description it's yeah, so I good what said, it did remind them of um one of being the, on the beach with a fire yeah toasting marshmallows it's so lovely the way he describes it it is, isn't it? It's so yeah. lovely. When, when, it's so lovely for me if I love a fragrance and I speak about it, and then I see other people wear it because that kind, yes. that kind of reassuring to myself, like, oh, okay, I was right about that. I'm glad yeah. someone else felt what yeah. I felt or found out what I found out about a fragrance because, like I said, everything is limited to experiences. So 
sometimes yeah. you feel like maybe I like this, you may not like it. So, yeah. True. Yeah. I mean, even of my fragrance collection, there are some that I love and there are some that I will sometimes think, mm, I don't know if I feel I love this one so much right now, you know? Absolutely. So I think it changes with your mood a bit too, but I do yeah. love Earth a lot. And this is a very consistent seller. It's been popular, that um, fragrance. I mean, it's oh quite God. light. Uh, mm -hmm. and yeah. I think but I can't wait to do more. So hopefully soon enough. But yeah. yeah, it just kind of takes time getting them right from the idea in your head to everything else. So. Yes. Yeah, I I don't know if I asked this before. I may have. Uh, what was there a fragrance that you were thinking of making, or you made and you didn't like it, and ended up loving, or vice versa? Which one, if there was any, or was there um, a fragrance you made and thought, "Oh no, we are not gonna publish that. I'm not impressed." Not, not as yet, really. Well, I did start a collaboration with um this perfume house in but well, it's a bit unfinished so maybe it will come to fruition but i started working on three different perfumes with Joram in edinburgh but wow. it was just before i think it was just before the brexit happened and then oh, they couldn't wow. do anything further but uh he is a very good perfumer ewan mccall and maybe i will continue that but yeah it just seemed like have have some different ideas for things like i have uh also i'm working on a a range of chocolates so i'm they're kind of perfume scented uh influenced chocolate so hopefully I'll get these out soon enough. <laughs> yeah. Um, there we, we have a question from uh, uh, Tony. And okay. Yes. Yeah, not. I love, well, I love, I love Kalesh Hermes. I love Fraca. I love uh, 4160 Tuesdays. I love the, I think it's called Sexy Scent on the Planet. It's Sexy very sweet candy. Planet. I need to smell that. I, I, I don't Amazing. think I've smelled it. And I love Prada candy. It's a bit like Prada candy. Uh, you like candy? Very sweet. Yes, I think I have the Prada candy somewhere. Yeah. Well, the Sarah McCartney 416 Tuesday one, the sexiest scent of the planet, it's reminiscent a little bit of Prada candy, but it's ever so much more. It's, uh -huh. it's so much more different and it's clever. It's But it's a really really cool cute scent i really love it and i also love mitsuko by guerlain oh, I, I, I don't have yeah. a box at the moment but yeah that's no, what me i neither. i i i run I, I that's the thing with me as well because when i when i buy other perfumes i think right i'm going to leave at least you know a little bit at the end so there will always be that bit but then I go to them, finish completely. I'm terrible, you know. <laughs> I, and I won't throw away the bottles. So I have uh, hundreds of empty bottles too. Crazy. Oh my thing. gosh! That that you know what? Like, before I used to throw away all my empty bottles, which I actually regret now. I wish mm -hmm. I had kept those bottles because at some point I, I used to have one of the older number five bottles. Which oh, I, I love number five them. as well. Yeah, and, and now I wish I had kept those bottles and quite a few Chanel bottles I threw away. And then I saw this person on eBay selling just yeah, empty bottles. I'm I like, crazy. Why did I just? I wish I put my bottles in the red top bin. Oh, crazy! But <laughs> and you I'll never do that again. Yeah. Oh God. Oh, candles they're selling as well. I think on eBay. I know. No, you need to have right? a lot to keep all yeah, these things. Now, like, now what I'll be doing, even the candles, uh, candles like this, I will uh, keep them, I'll just scrap them, clean them, and I'll use them for something, brick a brag oh, or whatever. thank you, yeah. Definitely, yeah, I'm not perfect. going to be, I threw away so much over the years, it's only sort of the last couple of years when I thought, no, hang on, I'm not going to do that anymore. 
So yeah. I'm not going to do that anymore. Mm. So do <laughs> you keep a little bit in it. your perfumes or do you use them right till the end? <laughs> I do love um, Killian as well, yes. <laughs> I to, do. Be, to be honest, I have not finished a bottle in the last in the last two years. I don't really have a bottle I finished. Oh, that's very good. And yeah. and sometimes uh, if my bottle is running low, if someone comes to my house, they're like, oh, can I have this? Oh, <laughs> just go to me and she's got plenty of perfume. Yeah. 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 I you, do always love get, you know, the ones who are like, oh, I mean, you can give me a fragrance that you don't wear. I'm like, what makes you think I'm keeping something I don't wear? I have it because yeah. I want it. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> but I um I can see I mean I love um uh Shalimar by Guerlain oh, as well oh, yeah. and Samsara as well, a lot of the Guerlain ones. I really do I like lo I love Guerlain, I love those, I really yeah. love them. Yeah, but I'm glad that you love Faith because that is one of my Oh, I'm really, I'm really glad the way this came out, you know. So, yeah. yeah. Now that you met, have you stopped buying other brands? No. <laughs> but I, I don't buy as much. Mind you, maybe I didn't really buy that much before, but I don't know. It's how many, how many, if you could count, have you bought this year? Sorry to put you on the spot. <laughs> oh this year i have to be honest this year i haven't really bought that many perfumes but i did buy uh as i say i did buy that beautiful 4162 tuesdays one re just a few weeks ago and mm -hmm. i love that really nice and um i also um i maybe bought i don't know like five or six this year yeah. oh wow so, yeah but i love very natural perfumes like this um the cologne i forget it's in the green bottle and it's not that expensive um the numbers on it the um, 417 come on you guys yeah yeah, yeah 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 417 something yes yeah, i know one, one um, in um, yeah yes, i love I this one, one. Very, yeah i love like the the big bottles of cologne you get like when you're in Spain in the supermarket and they're just like so refreshing just splash them on after a shower really like those too and um, wow. I love uh, yeah. yeah but I was wonderful doing the book cult perfumes because that really allowed to explore so many uh, scents that um, <laughs> Yeah, Tessa, you, I'm you very need to curious. <laughs> yeah, Tessa, I'm very curious. From cult perfumes, was there a fragrance that you obviously wrote about, smelled, and you thought, "Wow, I'm gonna make my own"? Was there mm -hmm. any particular fragrance that kind of set you off, like, "Okay, I'm gonna do this"? Well, maybe in light of everything, because I didn't really know it before and yeah. I'd heard about it, but but maybe with the kind of the, just with the the kind of massive effect that Fraca has on yeah. you, I think that encouraged, encouraged me. I have to say also another of my favorites is from Angela Flanders. Yeah. And um, it, is earl grey tea i love that perfume as well really very very special but yeah the book has been out for quite a long time so you might not have heard of it but it's still i don't think there's another perfume book like that it was kind of the first to describe the whole um niche world of perfume really but no it was it was a great book to do and then the other book uh, I don't. I, I should try and get you a copy. Hotels of the Stars, but it's quite different. It's not about perfume, but it's still about kind of an escapist um, lifestyle. And um, yeah, I'm showing the book because I'm showing the book because Elaine said she wasn't aware of the book, so I was trying okay. to. Um, yeah. 
it's not just uh, bottle designs, Ilen. It's actually got history about the houses, all the information. And there's a lot of houses in here. You do get, obviously, your Roger Dove. You get um, MFK. There's obviously uh, Robert Pickel. You've got Diptyque. And there's a whole lot of them. Yeah. Drama, Floris, Country, Novella. Like Richley, yeah. Nikolai, all the Armand Jane, yeah. Names yeah. you can think about and you can see the evolution of the obviously when they are showing the bottles, it's how they've evolved from their initial startup and mm. things like that. It's a really great book, like you have to read for yourself because there's so much information yeah. it took a while to write it but thankfully it's finished yeah. now so yeah i need to write another book about perfume one of these days but yeah but thank you so much mia i don't want to yeah. i don't want to stay too long on your okay. um live because i know you have got your kids to get back to and everything and it's all right tessa it's all done richly before i came on i made sure yin from the i owned lunches no for way very and good everything yeah. is done for that i will just get off then i can go to bed after so i'm absolutely fine do not worry <laughs> well, well i'm not i have to go and do all the same but yeah i better get to, get to it but thank you so no much problem. amazing to um to speak to you tonight so um yeah really enjoyed it oh that's very kind john <laughs> well maria i shall um tessa it's been you. amazing thank you so much yes. for coming on okay. have a I shall see you soon and I wish you all the best. Do you a big hug? See you soon. Take care. Bye. 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 Take care. See you tomorrow. Bye. 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 See you tomorrow. Bye. Right. So here we are, you guys. I'm trying to see which way am I going. Right, so that was Tessa Williams, and it was so lovely to have her on. Um, so, what? Well, oh, I hear you. I'm looking. I'm trying to catch up with the chat, and um, I guess my head's like that. Is it why buy when you can DIY? I need to. Yes. Yeah, so. Good to know. Thank you all so much. So Tessa Williams, ever so lovely. Bye, bye, Tessa. I know what you meant, uh, Tony. Bye for sure. Just the perfume. Uh, thank you so much, Elaine. It's people like you who make the perfume community. So I am ever so so fortunate, so happy, so glad to have you guys on here i'm trying to uh turn the camera let's see maybe that's better i don't know is that right yes so um i don't know if i should um uh, <laughs> this uh, yes tony i guessed that i don't know if i should carry on talking about this so anyway for those who were wondering so this book tessa williams and it's a really lovely book cult pair films and there's a whole lot of information in the book so do look it up and um, have a look as well on our website and our fragrances are very very reasonably priced they are 29.95 for a 50 mil and there's a whole lot to choose from you've got everything it's very big yes john the book is big it is big and believe it or not, I have not finished reading it all because as you can imagine, it's quite a lot to read. So um, I'm going through it. Hi, net sigh. So yes, um, and as well, like I said, Tessa does candles as well. So if you love candles, do check them out. They are all uh, so lovely. They are all on our website. 
and they are so fragrant. I'm not just saying it. Check them out. Other than that, obviously, she does room sprays as well, so you can get everything. It's so I can afford to buy more than just one at the at that price. Absolutely, absolutely. This is why, Helen, um, I've got all of them now. <laughs> I've got eight from the house, like literally, I've collected them all. So I don't even have anything else I can buy from her unless she comes out with new fragrances because I've got them all now. And um, the only thing I need to stock up um, are some candles, a few more. I've got two candles so I could get maybe a couple more. And once winter is uh, properly upon us, I'll be burning a few more candles, no doubt. And I like the fire. Even the earth and the air, love, just gorgeous. What's my favorite? My favorite, uh, do you mean, Amanda, do you mean um, the, the candles or the fragrances? I love water. I love water. I love fire. Depends on the mood. And I love... To be honest, I love all of them, but this is in the list they would go like that would be probably number one, that would be number two, then we have love, then we have faith, <laughs> we have faith, and then probably uh, we would, oh, air, yes, we have air. This is very much spring, summer, and then we do have hope as well, and we have earth. Earth is quite masculine yes so earth is quite this earth faith and um hope and fire are more masculine they are on the masculine side but otherwise they are very much unisex anyone can wear them but uh, for my nose I, I like very much the water the love the air it's very nice and the air everyone in the house loves it my kids enjoys them None of them smell like I expected. In Absolutely, John, I couldn't agree more. Uh, I'm just looking at your comments now. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> Definitely. Um, I do your neck. Uh, thank you so much. Thank you, Sal. I'm just looking at your comments. None of them. Absolutely, John, I couldn't agree more. They all smell quite lovely. Anyway, so that was that about Tessa Williams. But before I go, I don't know. I have other things I wanted to share with you guys, but I don't know if I should share them now. Maybe I'll come back tomorrow just because I've been on for an hour now and I don't want to take up all your time. But um, I'm feeling a bit um, annoyed, upset. Um, this is nothing to do with my conversation now. But um, actually, no, I shouldn't. I'll come back and tell you tomorrow. But this is about some fragrances I was really looking forward to. And I couldn't get them. And I was just gutted to the point I feel like boycotting the brand. So some of you might even have an idea. But I'll tell you all about it tomorrow. <laughs> I shall see you tomorrow. That's another classic. Oh my gosh, John. Yes. Sal, I love a style. I love your style, Sal. It's so vintage. It's so chic. It's just fabulous. So yes. And I enjoy just to see your posts with all your lovely pictures. They are so girly. There's something so delicately wonderful about them. <laughs> goodness me you're making no literally so like oh my goodness me your pictures so vintage i love the vintage feel very chic very chic and yeah um i can't do that okay what i'm gonna do is because i wouldn't want to um i'm gonna get off a minute and then I come back. Are you gonna come back? If you're gonna come back, then I'll come back. But I'm gonna get off <laughs> for a minute and come back. No, I join you on the Chanel boycott. Um, 
It's not that, John, but I think you know what it is. Okay, I'm getting off now. I'll be back a minute. Actually, I'll be back a minute. I need to charge my iPad. <laughs> okay, Len, do charge up. I'll be back in a minute. So <laughs> I shall I shall see you in a minute. Let me get off. I'll come back in a minute. Let me just close this one. I'll be back. See you in a minute. Thanks for watching.